in the way that they see fit at the governor's level. So my next guest was on that conference call today, hours after announcing Maryland's first coronavirus death, sadly, and implementing some new measures in response to that. Joining me now, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, Republican chairman of the National Governors Association. Governor, thank you very much for being here uh, this yeah, evening. Thank you, Martha. What's the most important thank thing you. that you need at the governor's level, and what did you ask the president for today? So all of the governors, look, first of all, I want to compliment the president and the vice president, as I did earlier on the call, thanking them for really great communication with all of the governors, because, you know, the governors are on the front lines of this thing, and it's really going to take all levels of government working together at the federal, state, and local level. Um, we've had to make some uh, decisions and take actions in our individual states. Uh, the federal government and the administration and the Congress, everybody's been working on this. Uh, but we have met, we've been meeting individually with all the governors. This is the fourth I think uh, call we've had either with the president and or vice president or both with all the go nation's governors which is I think terrific and considering how busy everybody is yeah. but all the governors met yesterday on a f conference call to decide kind of their n numerous requests we're all drinking from a fire hose but there was a kind of a, a, a kind of a, a group of things that, that you just mentioned that we're all looking for in all of our states and it's basically um, given us we've called up 2200 members of the National Guard here in Maryland many other states uh, have and one was pushing Title 32, which gives some flexibility to help the federal government pay for those citizen soldiers in our states. Instead of the states, they get better benefits and they get the money straight from the federal government rather than us waiting to be reimbursed and gives us some flexibility. Yeah. The other thing was all this big uh, stimulus packets in, in Washington, it's, it was just great because people are going to need the help. They're getting some money out to the people who really need it, uh, trying to help some of the uh, industry sectors. but. Uh, putting some of that money out directly to the states because we're closer to the needs and I think we can get the money out faster to those small businesses that really need the help. Yeah. Um, and so we discussed that uh, at length. And uh, and the other thing we were talking about pushing off uh, the census and the requirement for the real mm. ID because it's hard to do either one of those when we've got, uh, mm. you know, schools shut down and the inability of people to go out and in public right. to conduct either one of those things. Um, you know, I heard Governor Murphy of New Jersey asking, um, you know, for supplies and that kind of thing, and ventilator, the ventilator issue, and the president said something to the effect of, and, yeah. and I may not be quoting him uh, exactly, but, you know, we're not like a procurement office. Like, you need to try to get as much as you can on your own, and then we're going to also try to help you. And that gets picked up, and people, you know, criticize that comment uh, as the president sort of saying you're yeah. on your own. But obviously, governors have a ton of responsibility here, right? Yeah. Well, no, I, yeah, I think um, sometimes things get uh, misquoted or misconstrued and people try to make a big deal out of it. I, look, it, it, it's really a little bit of both. So the governors are on their own, taking their own responsibilities and trying to get some of these supplies. Mm -hmm. We also do need help from the federal government, and they're willing to help and they're trying to help. Uh, but there's a shortage of test kits and ventilators mm -hmm. and masks and all these PPEs, the protective equipment. That, um, that they are trying to help us with, and the governors are also trying to take independent actions with private labs and through our own state health departments and emergency procurement. Uh, but there's a shortage all across the country, and right. it's something we're all trying to work on together with the, with the administration and each of the governors. Well, I heard today that the uh, auto companies that have halted some of their production are going to try to turn those efforts, and Tesla said you know, that they think they can, in a relatively short period of time, start making ventilators, kind of like what you saw in World War II when they can converted uh, the auto lines and auto manufacturing lines to create uh, weaponry and equipment and airplanes for World War II. So it'd be fascinating to see them step up and, and help with the ventilator supply. And then, of course, you've got the issue that you've got New York and California and Washington have 50 percent of the cases out there. So um, yeah. I'm sure that they are going yeah, well, to be wanting, you know, the, a, a large portion of, of what the federal government can do as well. I need a quick answer. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, so no, so it's great with the Defense Production Act yeah. that they enacted yesterday, where all these companies can help us get these things up quickly, and, you know, all of the states are in need, and, and it's going to take everybody working together. So, absolutely, they're Governor. doing, everybody's working, we're going to get these things done, but it's a lot of work from, from everybody. Governor Hogan, thank you. Good to see you tonight, sir. Best of luck thank to you in Maryland. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, still ahead yeah, thank tonight. You, Martha. Thank you, sir.